you know, you see these ships from a distance, you just don't appreciate what it's all about, and then you're on board and you see the activity, and, and there's plenty going on. It's all, you know, uh, on the backs and the arms and the muscles of men and women uh, who make it all happen. Join us now. We have two more talk to us. Master Sergeant Michael Lombardo and also Gunnery Sergeant Bryce Ingram. Thank you both for coming by. Good to see you. A big part of today, one o'clock, is an enlistment ceremony, and everyone seems to have a story about when they came in. I'm curious if either of you do. Uh, well, I, I enlisted in the Marine Corps in 2001. I was actually supposed to be on a flight to boot camp on September 11th. Yeah. So, and I'm guessing that moment spoke to you. Uh, you, you know, it really did. I did my enlistment the week prior, my oath of enlistment the yeah. week prior. Sure. You know, going doing your call to duty and yeah. serving your country really meant a lot back then to us. And I'm guessing for you, sir, for is, was there a moment for you where you just knew this would be it for you? So uh, for me, it was just seeing you know what the Marines are capable of. And yeah. when I uh, went to, to the Marine recruiter, I just went in there. I was like, you know, I want to be a Marine. Yeah. And, uh, this is one of the first things out of my mouth, and they uh, stood right up and they're like, well, do you have what it takes? Yeah. And uh, that right there was confirmation that this was the service that I wanted to join. I like moments uh, like Fleet Week because I think it explains to young people there's plenty to do in the service. You do intelligence, you do communications, and is it one of those things when you step in you decide this is what I want to do or does it sort of call for you? Well, if, uh, if you're like me, you know, you kind of start out doing what you think you want to do and then throughout your time and your career there's other opportunities, other doors that open that sure. provide you different opportunities. So I've done many things uh, amongst intelligence. I was a mechanic. Uh, I instruct martial arts. Oh wow! Uh, I instruct combat marksmanship, uh, swimming. So there's there's plenty of opportunities for you know they, they just open themselves up to you. Sure, you know? gentlemen, we want to thank you for your time. I want to let you know he Lombardo made the uh, announcement to me that listen, Baltimore wouldn't have a football team if it wasn't from Cleveland. He's from Cleveland. Listen, we support everybody. All right, let's tell you a little bit. Thank you, gentlemen. Good to see you. Let's talk a little bit about the events today because there's plenty going on. First at 10 a.m., you have that ribbon cut in for the water taxi terminal. Uh, this is a ceremony to officially open the new water taxi terminal at Pier 1. It's located on Pratt Street 301. Also, folks can actually check out the fleets during the ship's tours. That's today through the 13th. You can explore U.S., British, Canadian, and Danish vessels. All will be open to the public for touring. Right now, you know, we're here on the USS Carter Hall. This ship will be on the list for you to check out as well. And all of the these vessels available for touring spread across the city. You got the Inner Harbor, Fells Point, Under Armour Pier, and Locust Point, and Port Covington as well online. You can see where these tours run. It's usually 10 to 5 today through the 13th, and there's a fee for some of them, so you might want to check out uh, which is for free and which you may have to fork over a little bit of cash. Later this evening, though, this afternoon, excuse me, that's that oath of enlistment. The U.S. Navy will administer the oath of enlistment and welcome 20 of its newest recruits aboard the USS Constellation, familiar to all of us in Baltimore. Baltimore. That's at 1 o'clock, also over in Pratt Street. At 5.30, you'll have the Waterfront Wellness presents Workout with the Sailor. And trust me, ain't no way I'm working out with the Sailor because I ain't worked out in a bit. But you may want to. You can join the Sailors. That's at the Inner Harbor's West Shore Park, 401 Light Street. Lacey, I know, I know you're a workout addict. I know you love to run. You got some tennis in you. I don't know if this is the workout for you. My doctor said no way, so <laughs> I'll be with you and I'll sit back right. and enjoy all the festivities from there. <laughs> Thanks, hey, Jason. Listen, being on the sidelines ain't a bad place to be. No. We'll be back here in a bit. So though. much to see. <laughs>